Well, I'm sure this is one you've been waiting for. This one, we're gonna talk about LED lights in Trano pieces. We're gonna first make light packs, which are the basic components of almost all of the LED uh, options for Trano. It's basically a cartridge for the battery with an LED sticking out. These are really great to use for lighting up windows or similar items in the castles and catacombs manual. And they're also the basis for the bar with lanterns. So let's get started. So we're going to start off by making the light pack and it's basically made out of a piece of cardboard, an LED light, a little battery and some masking tape. Now we're going to start by making that piece of cardboard because that is going to be the body of our battery cartridge and we're going to make that out of cardboard or chipboard from the Game Gear Master online store. To start off with we want to find the stiffer of the two sides. Generally cardboard has grain, so it's stiffer in one direction than it is in the other. It's either gonna be stiffer top to bottom or left to right. In this case, it's stiffer left to right because the grain is going in that direction. And that's good to know because we wanna make sure that we make our little pattern here for these battery cartridges perpendicular to the grain. In fact, you can see the lines on the pattern itself there in the template showing you which direction the grain should be going. And then we're gonna score in between each one of the battery cartridge pieces. Now this doesn't take a whole lot of pressure. You'll notice I'm literally only just using my pointer finger and my thumb to hold the knife. And then we're gonna do the two lines in the center. These are the two lines that have to be scored so the battery cartridge will fold correctly. Now we're gonna do this with the blade upside down. Why do we do that? Well, it'll let us put a good amount of pressure onto the cardboard without cutting all the way through and it'll give us a good solid score line. So when we do go to fold these battery cartridges, they'll fold just where they're supposed to. And do that for both of those lines. By the way, you'll notice these are the two lines that are on the middle of the template going all the way down through it. Now we'll just finish off the line at the end so we know where to cut with our scissors. And now since we've scored between each one of the battery cartridges, we can now, now easily find exactly where to cut out each individual battery cartridge. See, they fold right where you're supposed to uh, separate them. So once you have your battery cartridges, we are going to make a light pack. It's literally just a battery cartridge and the LED itself. So we'll start off by poking two holes through the cardboard right on those little score lines that we made. And this is going to be where the wires from the LED are going to slide through to make contact with the battery. Then we're going to fold along those score lines. And now we've got the basic shape of our battery cartridge. Now we're just going to feed the wires of the LED through into the inside of the battery cartridge. This way the wires will be right up against that battery. And then we're going to wrap the battery cartridge around it and then fold the wires around the battery cartridge, just like that. And then it's time to actually finish up the battery cartridge. Now we do that with some masking tape. Now the first layer of masking tape, this is important. You don't put it glue side down. You put it glue side up. That might sound a little weird, I know, but it's so the battery doesn't get stuck to the glue in the battery cartridge and make it impossible to get out. So here I'm wrapping it. You notice I'm wrapping it pretty tight because I want to make sure First of all, that that battery's held in there pretty well, and also that the wires make good contact with the battery. Then just cut off the excess that's hanging off the end, take out the battery. Now we're gonna take the sleeve that we've made for the battery cartridge, and we're gonna slide it about halfway down. There you go. We're doing that because we're gonna put another layer of masking tape on top of this with the glue side down, and we wanna make sure that it has some place on the battery cartridge to grip to. Then you put the battery back in, and now we're going to do the last wrap of masking tape. That masking tape is going to be glue side down and about four inches long and just wrap it around. And you'll notice I do this pretty tightly. I think I actually lose control of the, uh, I think I actually lose my, my grip on the battery cartridge. But it's good. Yep, there you go. It's good to do this tightly so we keep a good contact on that battery. Now we've got that sleeve of masking tape with no glue facing the battery held in place by another wrapping of masking tape that holds both that sleeve and the cartridge together. So now we have strength and ease of taking out the battery. And it's gonna have great contact to that LED because the entire cartridge is wrapped tightly around the battery. So this little guy may not look too useful as in, in this form, 
Uh, but it's important to know how to make them because that is the basis for all the other LEDs we're going to make. And it's got one added bonus. If you use it along with pocket walls from the Terreno Castles and Catacombs manual, you can do lit up walls. And in this case, I'm going to light up a window. And that's what that little slot is for in pocket walls in the bottom. Yeah, see, look at that. So then along with the printouts from the Castles and Catacombs manual, you can make some really cool looking windows that are self lit. So what happens is if you, you know, if you have a couple of columns next to this, like a couple of wall connectors with torches on it, they only look cooler because those torches are now being reflected in the window. Uh, yeah, it looks really, really great. So then it's time to make some torches. Now you're going to notice right away that the torches are built around these light packs. Essentially, they're the same thing, but the LED is positioned slightly differently. And there's like a cover onto the front of the light pack. That's the backing on the torch. And then we got a toothpick and some masking tape to finish off the torch. And these light packs or these LED torches fit into our socketed wall connectors, just like that. And in this video, we're going to be making this one, the stone backed torch. Now, these textures are all in the Tech and Torches texture printout. So go ahead and print out a sheet of that because you're going to need that. And then glue it onto a piece of cardboard to make it a little stiffer, just like you would for a template. Now we're going to start here by making the sort of the interior part of this, which is like the light pack. So we're going to grab an LED and a battery. And it's always a good idea to test that battery and that LED to make sure it lights up. Perfect. Good to go. Then now we're going to take that backing. Now remember, you glued this onto some cardboard to make it a little stiffer. So this is your printout glued onto cardboard and uh, cut out. We're going to start by making that battery cartridge. So we're going to take the, one of those, another one of those pieces that we cut out of cardboard. And you'll see it kind of attaches like this onto the front of that, uh, of that face that's going to be in the, the backing of the torch. So we're going to use a socket here to position that printed out piece just right onto the battery cartridge. So it looks good when it's plugged into the socket. So we're just gonna hot glue that on there. Now you notice the battery cartridge isn't all the way into the socket. This is to ensure that it doesn't accidentally get glued onto there with a the hot glue. So we just let that sit there for a second and when it's dry, pull it on out. So that's positioned well. And then it's time to make the actual torch that's gonna sit on the front. And the torch that sits on the front is gonna be made out of an LED, a toothpick and some masking tape and hot glue. So first we're gonna make the sconce for the LED and that's basically gonna be made from the wires itself. Now we're gonna bend them at that little notch there. You see that? If you bend them right there, that is gonna determine the height of your sconce. Because that little bit that's now gonna be vertical onto your torch is gonna to be the sconce itself. So you can see there, right there, see that's where it's gonna kinda of sit, but the, the, the wire is gonna go back into the battery cartridge and the toothpick is gonna to hang down from below there. So we're gonna cut that toothpick one inch long. There we go. And that's gonna stick on the bottom just like that, right underneath the LED. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hot glue it in place. Just a little dab will do. So you can hold this by the wires of the LED and then just stick it in there right there and just let that totally dry. And now we're going to make the sconce. Now the sconce, all that is, is a little thin strip of masking tape. Now that thin strip should be about an eighth of an inch. And then you just roll it around to make the sconce. There you go. And you can use as much or as little of the masking tape as you want for this until it looks right to you. One sconce and torch done, ready for paint. Now here I'm gonna paint it in a kind of a sand khaki color and this is quick coat. And uh, we're just gonna paint that on there and making sure not to get it on the LED. And before we go any further, we're going to want to make sure that this is completely dry before we move on. So set that aside to dry for a little while. I like to actually stick it into a piece of foam. And what I'll do too is while I'm doing these, I'll do like, you know, 20 torches at once and paint them all at once so they'll all dry at the same time and I'll be good to go. And then it's just time to poke the holes 
for the LED wires through into the battery cartridge. And you can see where you want to do that based on the height there. So just kind of get an idea of where you want to put those holes. And then you're going to poke your two holes through into a piece of scrap foam. Just like you did for the light pack. Now these are going to be a little off center because we want that LED towards the top of the, uh, the, the torch itself. So you can see there, it's probably about an eighth of an inch from the top of the battery cartridge. And by positioning them there, when we slide the wires through to the other side, the torch is going to be perfectly positioned on the front. Now, one thing you'll notice is those wires are a little short. It would be hard to wrap them around the battery cartridge to actually make them fit. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim down that battery cartridge a bit so there's enough wire to wrap it around the outside to keep it in place. It doesn't have to be a whole lot, but there just has to be enough so you can actually wrap it around. And by the way, shortening the battery cartridge like that doesn't really affect its performance. Um, it's more important that the masking tape is around it to hold the battery in place. There you go. And now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put our battery in there and we're going to make that sleeve of masking tape with the glue away from the battery cartridge. And that we're going to wrap with another wrapping of masking tape with the glue towards the battery cartridge. So you can go ahead and use the piece that you have left over from making your sconce. And remember, we want to have that glue away from the battery cartridge itself. So we don't want that. We want to do the other way. So you can hold it in place with your thumb there while you wrap it. There you go. And we want to wrap this fairly tightly because you want to make sure that there's good contact with that uh, battery and the wires from the LED. And then the same thing, we're going to remove that battery after we cut off some of the, the extra masking tape there. It can be a little tricky sometimes, but sometimes you get lucky and get it. Yep, there you go. So then we're going to kind of move it back. Remember, we want to make some room. We want to have some area for the um, other layer of, of the masking tape to glue onto. So there you go. So you can see there's a little bit of the battery cartridge showing and that's where our next wrap of masking tape will stick onto to finish off the uh, battery cartridge. And you want to put the battery back in because you're going to wrap this tightly. If you wrap it tightly without the battery cartridge, then the battery cartridge you end up with is going to be too small. So leave the battery in there and then we're going to wrap this again pretty tight. There you go. And then it's about getting that battery out again. It's probably easiest just to cut the tape off of the end there. Because that guy is going to be stuck in there from all the glue on the tape. And you just kind of trim it up and make it look nice. Get any little extra bits taken off. And there you go. One finished torch. Now look. Uh-oh. It's not making good contact. Yeah, that's no problem. Just bend out the sides a little bit like that and then put it back in and that'll force a little added pressure onto the battery. See? Problem solved. Then you just put it into the socket and then you have one finished torch. So you can also make torches that are a little bit more detailed and ornate. And that's what we're going to do next. We're going to use some items that we got from the Game Gear Master online store to add some really cool added detail to these torches. They're essentially similar um, but you can do things like you can add a skull bead on the top, which adds a lot of coolness to it, obviously. And then you can also, you can get rid of the backing. You can just have the skull be the sconce and be the entire torch. And you'll notice there's so some hot glue as a flame, and I'll show you how to make that in a second. So here we're going to do it with this glow-in-the-dark bead. It's cool because it's translucent, so the entire bead lights up uh, when you turn on the LED. So we're going to add a little hot glue in there and put the LED in there, just like that. And let that set for a second. You see the, hot, the, the LED is sticking out of the top of there a little bit, which is good. And then we're gonna add a flame effect, and that's just all a matter of putting some hot glue on the top 
and then sort of teasing it out. Like you see, there's it's hard to see on camera here, but there's a little string of hot glue coming out. And you just sort of tease that out and it'll make a little top, like the, the top of a flame. And if you want to have more of an, a pronounced effect, you can put more hot glue on there. And it's always a good idea to test. See, doesn't it look cool? It's like a glowing skull. It's pretty neat. You can also combine these with uh, sleeves. You see here I'm using a sleeve instead of one of the backings for the torches. You can also do it without the sleeve, just like that. There's so many options with this. Like at the minute you start kind of mixing and matching ideas, there's so many things you can do. Like look at this one. This is a little bead you can get on the Game Gear Master Online store. And you can add an LED behind it to get to make it look like it's glowing when it's on the wall. It's really, really cool, especially if you're in a dimly lit area. It is so cool. Now, all these are items are built off of that light pack and that that basic principle. So you can see as long as you can fit it into the light pack and the LED sticks out away from the light pack, you can make so many different things really, really fast and easy. So while I'm showing you some options here, this is by no means an exhaustive list of examples. This is one of the uh, the demon backs, it's called, uh, textures. I notice this LED is a little larger. Uh, this, I think, was from a tea light that I found somewhere. They had generally have larger bulbs. You can do it from tea lights. You can make these guys from tea lights. Um, I don't really recommend it because it's harder. Uh, if you can check, if you want to learn how to do them from tea lights, I talk about that in the Torino Tech and Torches manual. So here I've got this really cool chrome skull. I love these guys. And I added a flame to the top and a little toothpick on the bottom, just like we did for the torch that we made in this video. So you can see like all these little things. There's just so many combinations. I love this guy. Look at this. If you put the LED behind him and hot glue it onto a light pack, the eyes glow. I just, that is the best thing. And it's so neat to me. And again, if you combine them with sleeves, you have even more options. So there you go. There you can see just with the purchase of a few beads and printing out of a, some textures from the Tekken Torches manual and maybe using a sleeve, you have tons of different options for lighting. I would love to hear what options you use and what, what you found is neat. Just put them down in the comments. I would love that. And maybe uh, I'll add it to the uh, Tech and Torches manual so other people can see your handiwork. So if you haven't already, you can get started right now on your Torino journey by downloading the Torino construction manuals at GameGearMaster.com. They are consistently rated five stars and come with a 14 day hassle-free money back guarantee. That means if Torino's not for you, no problem, you'll get your money back, no questions asked. Happy crafting. And a big thank you to my supporters on patreon.com forward slash Game Gear Master. And a shout out to the architects on there who really go above and beyond. Brian Yao and William Dellinger, thank you so much. And apologies if I mispronounced your names. If you'd like to become a patron and get exclusive Trey No products, go to patreon.com forward slash Game Gear Master.